We are here at the Warm Springs house. And that's right off of Warm Springs Road. Beautiful homes all around it. Sure trees. Very historic, as you can tell from this gate. And the house was built back in 1910. It's like a cinder block foundation. At least part of it. Maybe the original, I don't know. See a lot of cool kind of older stuff on this house, I'm sure. All right, let's go in and take a look. Okay, we just entered the property. You have nine foot ceilings. Living room or family room off to the left here. Another big kind of bonus room over here. Then whatever you want it to be. This is kind of cool. Floor slopes a smidge, but this goes out to the backyard. Let's take you over to this side of the house first. Windows with plantation shutters. It's like a pocket door here. Your dining area. Some crown molding. I don't know if that furnace is still working or not there with the wall heater. It's your hallway, which we'll get back to. You're definitely kind of stepping back in time in here. In our kitchen. Not a lot of cabinets in here. We have a little eating space here. And that's it as far as the kitchen goes, right there. So you've got one set of cabinets there, another one there. You do have more back here along the back wall and plenty of cupboard space, so that's good. So kind of a big pantry area there. And over here is your spot for your fridge with the water line tapped in right there. In a window that I would imagine would be partially blocked with most refrigerators. Kind of a purpley blue uh, marble. I've never seen this color marble before. It's different. Very steep stairs down to the basement. And our bedrooms. Bedroom number one. Really tall ceilings in here. Some uh, interesting wallpaper, definitely dated. Another bedroom here, or actually, it's not really a bedroom because there's no closet, but has the wood parquet flooring in here and a nice view of the backyard. This house is cool. Lots of nice brickwork, and you can tell it's well done because it's really even. There's a water fountain right down below here. A very light colored wallpaper in this room. I don't know if you can see the print there. Pretty elegant. And our bathroom in here. Just a tub. Pedestal sink. Toilet. Some storage here on our right. Another bedroom here. That goes back into that room off of the front entry ceiling fan. I'm not sure what this is here. Let's take a look. Oh, just a tiny little closet. And we will walk back through. This there's another one of those heaters.
the floor slopes a little bit right here. All the built-ins. Another heater right there. Some more wood flooring. Sitting area outside. This home has been staged. This looks like this must be the, the master add-on. So a private commode, closet, a little heater down there it looks like. An in-ground tub. Haven't seen too many tubs like that before. And here's your shower. And you've got granite in here. Some nice hardwood floor. And then your master bedroom, which is pretty impressive actually. Wood beam ceilings, oak floors. I guess those are all heaters. I'm not an expert on those. Plus you have a fireplace in here. Then you have closets on each side. Got a little standard size closets without closets or anything. But nice size master bedroom. The listing has it at 16 by 15 and there's the other room dimensions. if you got all that and next we'll head out to the backyard all right I just came down the stairs into the bowels of the home this is where your laundry would be down here pretty steep walking down the steps but people have obviously been doing it for more than a hundred years so it is doable my apologies. Let's get a little light on this situation. Ceilings are, if I don't watch it, I'll hit my head. Not real livable square footage down here by any means, but it's good storage space. So these pipes are pretty low right here. Looks like a uh, They've staged this to have a crib. To me, I think that's probably Mark's designated workout space down here. And there is a shower. Toilet. Very low head shower in here. Let me see if I can stand up. Yeah, I can stand up in here. I'm about, almost 6'2". It's got a few extra inches for me. Got your old broiler down here. I don't see these very often. Pretty cool. And I think that concludes the downstairs. So now we'll go outside. Okay, before we go back upstairs, I think I missed a room down here. So next to our bathroom, which is to our right, is this one other bedroom down here. Fluorescent lighting. Decent sized room. Has a bit of a musty smell down here. But there are newer windows here. Bit of spider. Um, there you have it. Now we'll head up to outside. Okay, heading out the back. Their brickwork out here is phenomenal. Really nice. This terrace is down. It's hard to tell in the video, I'm sure. We've got an alley over here. Side of the house. Well, not really an alley. It's a one-way street, actually.
kind of a one car garage out here actually does have the opener that was that master bedroom right there and the area in between it that you saw when I was looking out the windows get a lot of street noise but that's the price you pay for location a mature neighborhood it's pretty quiet inside I don't know what it'd be like if you start turning on or opening up all the windows but okay hopefully that answers most of your questions about the property gives you an idea of what it's all about here house seems to be pretty well taken care of and uh, give me a call if you have any more questions or give me a buzz